going to give you Mr. Tanner right now. You'll have five minutes. Okay. Well, I'd like to start out by saying I'm, I'm one of the people that signed the original petition to go before President Carter in 1978. Or maybe it didn't, maybe it didn't get to him until 79. And I, if there's not a member of normal here, I have a lifetime membership and I think I have the authority to be a spokesman for the organization as a lifetime member. And when, when I signed the petition, I've been fighting for 30, 40 years almost, maybe more than 40 years, for the complete legalization with no regulations whatsoever. I've been fighting to get it taken off the Dangerous Substance Act Federal Dangerous Substance Act of, what was it, 1920? Almost 100 years. We've been criminalized for using medical marijuana or whatever. And I'd like to state, speaking of medical marijuana and recreational marijuana, I'd like to quote a friend of mine named Tommy Chong, a personal friend of mine that I met in Kansas City. <clears throat> Even people that use recreational marijuana are using medical marijuana. They're just using it for their mental health. Quote, unquote. I'd like to let my friend here, Marijuana Mike, who's another member of the National Organization to Reform Marijuana, speak. We want it completely legalized, and we're going to continue to fight for the complete unregulated legalization of marijuana, okay? And we're not going to take no for an answer. We're going to continue to fight. We're going to continue to fight. We have suffered great suffering due to the regulation of a plant that is not harmful at all and is, is in fact healthy for the human anatomy. And we are deeply offended by the federal government for putting it on a dangerous substance in 1920. And we, we, will, we will take legal action against you if you pass this ordinance. We will not honor your ordinances or any other ordinances concerning medical marijuana or recreational marijuana. We do not recognize any of your unconstitutional ordinances. We don't recognize your unconstitutional ordinances and we will not honor them or obey them. We will challenge everyone. Yes, we are going to challenge your unconstitutional ordinances. I, my friend here, was in Kansas City, I mean, excuse me, Colorado, when they legalized medical and radical recreational marijuana. We helped them vote it in there, and we helped them vote it in here. We shall continue to vote against you and fight and challenge all ordinances, I repeat. We will not be handled, we will not obey your ordinances. And you can do me all you want, because now I see the red side of your city. Now I see the Republican side of your city. Now I see the conservative side. Right? Your good friend in Satan Barbara. And I think you're doing. Mr. Satan Tanner, Barbara. you have about 30 seconds left. So, yeah, Clint Eastwood, he suit the conservatives. He don't want legalization of marijuana either. I know, I met him in person one time when I was in Santa Barbara. He's an ultra conservative redneck, and he is nobody to me. I don't care how much money he has. 
we are not going to obey the rules and regulations. We want complete and total Excuse legalization me. of marijuana. Excuse Thank me. You. We'll keep the time here, not in the audience. Yeah. I, yeah. You need to Excuse me. And watch your mouth. That, that's your time, Mr. Tanner. You need to watch out when I'm speaking, and do not disrupt me again, okay? Mr. Tanner, that's your time.